Hello, this is Paul and uh, I'm sitting at my desk. I'm going to be showing you today how to use your hand as a pacer as well as the technique of indenting. So the first thing we're going to do is use the hand or finger as a pacer. Now the reason we do that is to allow us to focus on what we're reading. So the first thing you can do is use a finger. So what I'm doing now is going from left to right with my finger under the text and I'm looking at the words as I move my finger. And this dramatically improves your ability to not go backwards or skip words and go forward. You may prefer to use two or perhaps three fingers to form a little ruler. Once again, I'm using my hands as a pacer. That's the technique, as simple as it is. Now, you might find that rather than using uh, a pen, uh, pardon me, a hand or a finger, you might prefer to use a pen. So I'm going to uh, contract the tip, and once again, as I read, I'm using my finger, oh, pardon me, my pen. Now I am reading quite quickly because I can read over a thousand words a minute, but there's no reason why you couldn't read uh, slower. So this technique I can either hold my pen as if I'm writing, or typically I place my uh, fingers over the top of the pen and read like this. Alright, the next technique is called indenting. And what we do when we indent is we don't start here, we start here. We don't finish here, we finish here. So what I'm doing is I'm only moving my pen 70-80% to 80 across the page. Now the other technique would be to use my hand or finger Now, I'm not skipping what's here or what's here. As my finger is on the word develop your, I'm looking at the word to on the left-hand side. As I'm looking at the word to, I can also see the word the exercise on the right. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at these words in my peripheral vision. And that is how we indent. I'm not skipping words, but I'm simply, simply looking to the left and to the right in my peripheral vision. Alternatively, I can use the pen to do the same thing. Now, uh, as you get faster, you might just want to indent the center and still see the words on the left and the right hand side, but that comes with practice. So I hope you found that useful. Now what's important is that you practice it.